Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, we're going to be going for number one in the Triple Draft Global Tournament. I'll be giving you guys some special tips here as well. We have this interesting Goblin Drill deck. I think this guy may be playing RG, so... I don't know how this will be, but we do have some defense at least with our Bowler and Bomb Tower. In this mode, I pretty much just tried to pick cards that synergize well together and can counter my opponent's deck. I don't really worry too much about what deck I have. Okay, I think he actually might have Lava Hound with something. I'm not sure with what, though. Wait, actually? Why does this man have Lava Hound Battle Healer? <laughs> okay, that's a little bit interesting. Um, Kind of have to Lightning. I guess we're fine, though, probably. At least Musketeer is a top-tier Lava Hound counter, but... Don't have, like, too much air defense. Hopefully our drill gets a bit of chip damage here. He does have Baby Dragon, too. Oh, that's on Tower, the Musketeer. Okay, that's really good damage. And the Baby Dragon will die to our Tower pretty quickly. I think our Archers will counter this healer pretty easily. Okay, not too bad of a start. To be honest, Goblin Drill isn't as strong in this mode so you, since you can use the Dagger Duchess in it, but it's still not half bad. It's a nice win condition if you have nothing better. We just have Miner and Drill for no reason. <laughs> Miner isn't bad though, it just has to be a secondary win condition. There's the Lava Hound again. I don't know if he has any great way to kill our Musketeer. I don't think he does, so that should be at least something for us. Honestly, Bowler might die here to the Brawler, or at least lose quite a bit of HP. We'll see, though. Just gonna Bomb Tower, because the Bomb Tower Death Bomb does fully kill Lava Pups, if you guys didn't know. Oh, he has Earthquake? Why does he have Earthquake? Okay, very nice Death Bomb, though. He has no arrows to kill our Archers now, so that's good. I'm just gonna go in for the Bowler to tank here, then Drill. With the Bowler tanking, I feel like the Drill might get a ton of damage. We could just get a very nice snowball here, I think. Yeah, this should be very good. I'm going to Lightning as well. Okay, that's a lot of damage. By the way, guys, one more thing. Make sure you use Dagger Duchess in this mode. It's like 10 times better than a Princess Tower or a Cannoneer, even. Okay, I don't know if we can actually defend too well here because we are down so much Elixir. But hopefully our Musketeer just decimates everything like it normally does. <laughs> Uh, gonna snowball this all back. And we have to lightning as well. Man, that's a lot of units. I'm just gonna minor. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully it tanks for something. Okay, I think we're actually all good here. Very nice defense. Man, he just has no way to kill our musketeer. That's it. He has pretty much a full-on meta lava hound deck, but he just can't break through the musketeer. That's the one issue. Nice drill off to the side. We'll be a few stabs. Okay, just one. That's okay. I'm just gonna bomb tower once again. We'll see if he plays the earthquake or something. Okay, a bit of a late earthquake. We can archers, he can't kill them now. He keeps on wasting the arrows on other stuff. This honestly might be it. We can snowball. Uh, the bowler may actually get on tower. Come on, bowler, bowler, bowler. Bully! Hee hee hoo! I know I'm a great bowler impressionist. <laughs> Easy win. I'm not feeling too good with this deck. We have a Ram Rider Breach Spam deck. I feel like Ram Rider is a bit of an inconsistent win condition in this mode. We do have some good cards here though. I have started to like the Firecracker quite a bit more in this mode. You just have to be careful to not give them the King Tower activation too early. He does have arrows, but we also have the Rascals to bait them out. Ram Rider should kill the Princess. Okay, <laughs> uh, I guess not. Just gonna Phoenix. Oh, it's Goblin Giant. We can Goblin, so then Bomber. Should be okay. The Phoenix is really good in this mode sometimes. And also Rascals are really good. <laughs> Pretty much most of the cards I have in my deck right now are really good in this mode. Oh, by the way guys, there is one thing I wanted to respond to. Well, not really, but people have been asking me, so <laughs> I guess I might as well. So I think basically this YouTuber named KFC, I'm sure most of you guys have heard of him. He made some video browsing Reddit or something. The Clash Rail Reddit. Also, this guy might be dead. <laughs> what kind of sparky is that? But yeah, anyways, he made a 
video browsing Reddit or whatever, then there was someone on there on Reddit that was talking about my religion or something and saying it's like a cult or whatever. It's definitely not a cult, but people just love to put words on there, um, you know, to try to make it seem not legitimate or, you know, whatever. Yeah, so it's not a cult. Um, I could say more, but, you know, man, just let a let a man follow his religion in peace, you know? That's really all I'm, all I'm trying to say. If you want to know more, though, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. I'll try to respond to as many of you as I can. But yeah, you know, nothing but good intentions <laughs> with my religion, of course. I don't know why people are trying to try to make it a big deal or something. Wow, that goblin giant's already dead. <laughs> oh no! What? No! Ooh, I didn't need that log. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. Okay, anyways. Can't really push into the Sparky. But Phoenix is very good against Sparky, so... I think we'll be fine. Wait, he has no arrows now, so I think we might be able to get a nice pressure push here. He's gonna have to respond to our Ram Rider. We can Rascals the bridge because he has no arrows, and the Fire Mage is also there on the left, so... Don't think he can do too much. That Ram Rider will go to town on the tower. I'm just gonna Goblins too. He has no arrows, so how's he gonna kill them? And another Ram Rider. <laughs> this guy's dead. <laughs> this guy's dead. <laughs> Fire Mage right on them. <laughs> Okay, luckily this guy isn't the best player ever and doesn't have many Ram Rider counters. Alright then, I'll see you guys in the next match. We're up against a Big Mac. We have a pretty interesting deck here. I did actually pick the Rocket. Normally I don't take Rocket in this mode, but this guy could have Sparky, so I just wanted to be a little bit safe. Just an RG pump deck. I feel like pump is quite good in this mode, and RG is definitely one of the top win conditions here. I don't really want to play anything. We have a pretty awkward hand. I'll just RG. Tower's not going to have too much ammo, so it should be at least a little bit of damage, I think. We could Executioner, but it's pretty much our only troop in hand right now, so I feel like we just have to go for the Tornado instead. I'll Fire Spirit as well for good measure. There's the Giant. He could have giant Sparky. Oh, the bomber's dead and everything. Okay, perfect. Minions are pretty good DPS, at least. Oh yeah, also guys, one more thing I wanted to add is that... I know there are a lot of bad things online about my religion. You know, just a lot of... Mostly false information. And, uh, yeah. I don't think you guys should judge it based off of that. I think what you should judge it by is how the people of that religion are instead. I think that would be a better way to judge it. I mean, even just me, for example. However, I am. I mean, you guys don't know everything about me, of course, but, you know, you could see I'm a normal person. <laughs> you know, not someone doing some bad things or whatever. I'm gonna pump up here. And, uh... Oh, he has lightning. Giant lightning. Honestly, giant is quite good in this mode. I feel like the meta shifted a little bit in this triple draft mode because now everyone has dagger duchess, so it does benefit tanks a bit more. This should be a nice RG, I think. I'm gonna minions too for whatever he plays. This should be like two hits, I think. If not even three. Wow, three hits. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. This guy isn't too happy about it. <laughs> I feel so good when I have Executioner Tornado in this mode. But usually they make you pick the Executioner before you see the Tornado, so it's kind of hard to know if you should take it or not. Kind of just a luck thing. We can pull this back. He may try to Lightning... Yeah, that's a pretty good lightning for him, but... I think we're okay. I think we're okay. That's a lot of damage, though. Man, that's a lot of damage. We just have to RG the bridge. And minions. Just don't want to deal with too much of a counter push. Hopefully we get at least one hit. Wow, nothing. I will say the Duchess does kind of destroy RG in these types of matchups. When you're playing in a normal match... If you go for like the RGs in the back and stuff, you can build up a nice push and overwhelm the Dagger Duchess. But if you have to play it at the bridge in a certain matchup, it does sometimes actually help the opponent to have the Duchess. We can just RG again. He's actually winning somehow right now, so we can't let that happen. Come on, please at least one hit. Come on, at least one hit. Okay, um, that's not bad, but we still need more damage. I'm just going to pump up again. 
Want to play it a little bit slow, but we have to be careful of his giant. Gonna ghost for this. Hopefully it kills it quickly. Beautiful ghost. Wow. I know he's gonna giant the breach here. Yeah, I'll just execution and minions. He can't really kill our minions too well. He only has like mega minion, I guess, but he's not really playing it much. On offense, at least. Okay, that better not connect. Okay. Okay, we can RG the breach. Gonna minions once again. The thing about RG is you can be very aggressive with it. You just want to make sure you don't die to the counter push. Wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, not any more damage, really. I think we have to ghost. Okay, never mind. It didn't really need that. I'm gonna RG again. If we get one shot, at least, we could take him to rocket range. Ooh, defensive lightning. I'm not sure if he has to respond to our fire spirit, but he might have to. Okay. This might be a good game. I don't see him defending. <laughs> His tower has no ammo. It's just gonna be useless here. I think... Yeah, that should be it. Alright. Very easy win. Man, we have Executioner, but no Tornado. Pretty interesting Golem deck. Guys, just a random question. Do you guys think I should grow out my beard, or should I keep on shaving it off? I'm not sure. I do like the clean look, but at the same time, it could look pretty good with the with a nice beard. I don't know, it just depends how well it grows out, I guess. Might have to test it one time to see. Wait, that's pretty aggressive by him. He is down a couple elixir at least, so... You know what? I'm gonna golem. <laughs> Why not? Hopefully this works out. Oh, we can't kill the guards, man. We can't do anything. We're just gonna lose our tower. We might have just lost the game. I'm gonna log two. We do have Night Witch, though, which should be pretty good support here for our golem. At least. Oh, he has cannon. That's gonna be so good for him. His left side tower will also start shooting our golem. Dude, we have no log to kill that thing. Okay, at least the Night Witch bats will kill it. Why does he have that? Why does he have a random tornado? Okay, we just lost, guys. <laughs> Dang, we kind of just got starting handed, but it's our own fault for going for a golem first play. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I guess golem first play isn't it. Dang, man. Whenever the golem players do it to me, they always get away with it, but I guess I don't. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next match. Alright, we have a pretty good giant miner deck. I'll go in for the bridge princess. I do quite like princess in this mode. It's a pretty reliable way to get ship damage. And also it can defend stuff pretty well, usually. Guards and stuff are decent in this mode, but the tower does wreck them, which is nice for us. Just gonna miner. It'll only get like two hits on the tower, but it's okay. Don't have too much better else to play. I'm gonna phoenix up high. I'm not sure if it'll fully counter the dark prince, but it might be kind of close. Okay, I don't think it will. Very close. All good, though. Just gonna go in for the tombstone to soak up this. Not sure what his win condition is. I feel like he could have an E-Giant deck, but I think he had a few other options, too. Usually you want to see what win conditions your opponent has the option of picking, and then you want to just get it right about which one they're going to pick, and then play cards that will counter that. I feel like he does have E-Giant, and we do have Tombstone and Cannon Cart, which should do us a pretty good job here. So I think we're fine. I'm gonna have Phoenix just to take out these bats and stuff. Okay, yep, there's the big fella. <laughs> Our tower's wrecking it, actually. I heard people saying E-Giant is better now because of the Dagger Duchess, but I feel like Dagger Duchess still does kind of wreck E-Giant compared to a Princess Tower. And also the Duchess does shoot quite slowly at the E-Giant compared to a Princess Tower when it actually gets to the tower. Just gonna Giant. I feel like he has to take some damage here. I'm not sure if he has any way to counter this easily. A Dark Prince won't do it. I mean, I guess it will, but he's gonna take a lot of damage. Our Kurt won't really do any damage to the Dark Prince. It's gonna die, but it's okay. Look at that giant damage. Looking pretty good so far. 
Just gotta be a little bit careful about the Night Witch mainly. I feel like we don't have too many good counters to it. I'm gonna Lightning. Should pretty much already be a dead E-Giant to our tower and Phoenix. Nice to have the log for the Dark Goblin. My favorite spell in this mode is probably Log, and then next up would be Arrows. Sometimes Tornado can be quite good too. We can Giant the Bridge and then just go for the Miner in the back. If you have a Miner deck, you usually want to get something to tank for it and then go for it behind the tower, and you get so much damage with it usually. Nice Giant Punch too, we can just Tombstone and I think we should be fine. Oh, he has Earthquake? Ooh, that'll make it a lot harder, but we're already, we're already looking pretty good. Wait a minute. Actually, no. No, we're not looking good. Wait, that better die soon. Okay, guys, we're not looking too good right now. Man, that Earthquake caught me off guard. Okay, we just go for a Tombstone way up high so we can't Earthquake the Tower and Tombstone. And I think we're all good here this time. I'll just take the lightning. I feel like we kind of have to lightning cycle. It's gonna be a little bit hard to break through at this point in the game. Okay. We do have our princess, which we could go for. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I think he has to respond to it. He can't let the night witch bats kill it. One more, one more. Okay, I think that's lightning plus log range. No, not quite. I think it's very close, though. Okay, I think we should be fine here on defense. Hopefully. Wait a minute. Lightning this? Wait a minute, E-Giant. Okay, we got it, we got it, for sure. I'm going for the Bridge Princess, and I think we got it. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!